Hey everyone, Ms. Dempsey here. This is a guide for round 14 of the Nations Cup. Let's get this started. Eventually, you're going to want to bring yourself to the left side of the track, and your first breaking point is going to be in between the 200 and the 150 meter mark. So you break hard for a while, just try to break as much as you can in a straight line, slowly start to ease off of the brakes, just let the car rotate, and then carefully apply the throttle. Start to use a little bit of braking before you reach this pole with the phone sign on it. Just once again, get the car to quickly rotate, just let it cruise for a short moment, then start to fully accelerate. Under the current tuning that I'm using, which I'll show at the end of this clip, you can take these turns at full throttle, just try to bring yourself as close as it can to the walls. So bring yourself to the right, and just before you reach the 100 meter sign, you want to start to brake. Brake hard for a short moment, gradually ease off of the brakes as you approach the first apex. The first apex will be when you start to fully accelerate, and if you do this right, you should be able to flow through that chicane without any problems. When the bridge starts, use a little bit of braking, just try to be careful when you start to accelerate, and you want to start to brake right here, uh, so that way you can get closer to the wall on the left and be a bit more aggressive on your exit You just want to be nice and careful with your throttle input so you don't make collisions with the walls Then just after you pass the 100 meter mark start to brake Try to bring yourself as close as you can to the right side of the track That way you can just ease off the throttle for this left turn and gradually start to accelerate Finally, for this hairpin, you want to break in between the 200 and the 150 meter mark. You'll be braking hard for a while, just try to brake in a straight line. Then start to ease off the brakes as you start to turn in. Just let the car rotate as fast as it can. Then once you start to unwind your steering, that is when you start to fully accelerate. But that is pretty much it for this lap guide. We'll go ahead and talk about the tuning and the strategies. I would like to note that I will have the tuning in the description down below. But anyways, so for the right height, bring its value for the front and rear all the way to the left side. So in this case, the lowest value will be 3.35 inches. Bring the natural frequency all the way up for both sides to 2.4 hertz. The anti-roll bars, you're going to bring the value to 10 for both sides. The damping ratio will be left alone for both compression and rebound, so don't touch those. The negative camber angle in the front will be adjusted to 2.1 degrees, and the rear will also be at 2.1 degrees. The front toe angle will be adjusted to go out 0.15 degrees, and the rear will be adjusted to be at 0 degrees. So let's go on over to the drivetrain, make it fully customizable, and bring the initial torque to five, acceleration sensitivity, bring it to 25, and the LSD braking sensitivity, bring it down to five. Now for the transmission, make it fully customizable and bring the top speed auto set all the way down to 124 miles per hour. What you want to do is you want to bring the final gear all the way down to 3.900. And for the first, second, third and fourth gears you're going to want to bring the value all the way to the left so as far left as you can go that's the value you're going to bring it at so for the first gear it'll be 2.294 1.768 for second gear third gear will be 1.433 fourth gear 1.213 and for the fifth gear you're actually going to want to bring it down to 0 0.992 so the fifth gears values will not go all the way to the left. And in this case, I'm going to adjust the final gear just a little bit, just bring it down to 3.845, and that is pretty much it for the tuning. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about the qualifying strategy. So you have 10 minutes to try to get a good qualifying time, and something you can do before you start your flying lap is that you can go pretty wide through this final hairpin. That way, you can have a little bit more space to try to build up a bit more speed. But the main thing here is to try to get the slipstream from the car ahead of you while maintaining a good amount of space. 
this is going to be extremely important especially the higher up the splits that you go because the more that you get the substream especially before you start your actual qualifying lap and as you end it it's going to be possible to shave off up to one second off your qualifying time so it's going to be crucial to try to make sure that you get that uh, substream especially as you go up this little hill uh, at the start of the track however we do have an open tune race so everyone's going to be having different tunes so something that you want to be observant of is how fast the cars are accelerating down the main street and out of corners if you notice that a lot of these cars are accelerating as fast as a turtle out of the corners or on the main street then you want to try to get around them especially before you begin your qualifying lap that way you don't have to battle with them during your actual qualifying laps which will end up hurting your own qualifying time so that's the thing that you have to be a bit careful of and once again if you notice that almost everyone in your lobby is going a lot slower than you especially under this tune then at that point you're probably better off just doing the laps by yourself don't even worry about the substream that way you don't have to worry about battling with them at all during your qualifying laps so with the 10 minute qualifying session you will be able to get five chances to try to get a good qualifying time so if you mess up your first qualifying lap just don't worry about it just focus on trying to nail the second qualifying lap so for this race tires and fuel will be irrelevant you do not have to worry about them this race is all about tuning and just trying to make sure that you can keep up with those around you so this tune which i'm calling the windfire tune is a pretty interesting one and i would like to give thanks to windfire for the tune uh so with this tune you're going to be able to go pretty fast down anything that resembles a high-speed section. So the turns leading up to the chicane and the main street itself. Uh, the thing that you do want to be careful of is when you're starting to brake, then ease off the brakes and start to turn. You basically want to tell your car what you're going to do because if you do it too suddenly or if you're too severe with your movements, then the car is not going to like that at all. You're either going to understeer a lot or the car is going to start to squirm around. So you do not want to do that. You basically want to use the braking points that I mentioned in the lap guide earlier in the video. That way the car will respond a lot better to your inputs. And with these gradual inputs, you'll be able to make sure that the car doesn't want to do anything silly. And with this race itself, substream is going to be a major key in trying to keep up with those around you. You want to try to stay within 1.5 seconds of the cars ahead of you. That way you can get a good substream and you'll be able to catch up to them as you go down the main straight. So something I noticed is that if you're within 7 tenths of a second behind a car that is in front of you, you're definitely going to catch up to them. And part of that is because of the long uphill section at the start of the track. If the car ahead of you doesn't have the slipstream, but you do, then that car ahead of you is going to become a sitting duck. So you're going to see here, I'm going to easily catch up to these two guys. And I'm just going to go ahead and go between them. I'm on my way to work, so I'm just trying to rush them over and try to win the race. And of course, with the slipstream, you need to slow down a little bit earlier especially on this first turn right here that way you don't end up punting the car ahead of you and they end up getting really mad at you for it that is pretty much it for this guide i would like to note one thing i do have a patreon now so if you want to check it out i'll have it in the description down below but anyways that is pretty much it for me i'm going to go ahead and sign off now so this is mr mca wishing you a good race and i'll see you in the next video